I'm going to test out this pineapple backpack cooler from Target. Because my husband's like, that's going to leak on you. And it might, like if you put actual ice cubes in it. But I'll test it out and let y'all know. So we are headed to the park today. I'm gonna stop by McDonald's and get, I think two bags of ice. I think McDonald's has, which I'll just take my kids through the drive-thru, which is amazing. I don't have to get out of the car. And I think McDonald's has two bags of ice for $1.50. And I think like one of their bags, I think it's a four pound bag, but I'll let you know what it fits. Mini. No place. It was a dollar fifty for two bags, and they are that's an eight pound bag. So two eight pound bags and one, I think one eight pound bag will fit in there. Also 74, 75 degrees right now. And we are headed to the park and I'm gonna test out that's my husband's. It's the Ozark Trail one from Walmart. And this one works really, really well too. But we'll see how it does. So I'll put one back of ice in our target. Backpack cooler. When I say later. Is it working? Yeah. Okay, we'll put it on me, okay? On your face? Just on the bag of ice is good. That's fine. Okay, now follow the bag of ice into here. Okay. Just the bag of ice? Just these. Are you doing it? Let's check on this ice. What? Is it wet? It's not wet. Okay, so it's not wet down there. So we've been at the park for two hours and I don't know what the temperature is, but I'll check. Looking good. I'm sure this one will be good. I know this one is. Is it going to focus? I just, checked, I just checked. Oh my goodness. I cannot talk. I just checked. Holy moly. I just checked the temperature. And it's currently 86 outside. So these. We've been gone for two hours at the park. And both of these have been in my trunk. And nothing's leaking. Which is awesome. And there's no water in the bottom of this. So this is obviously the one that I'm concerned about. Since it's more on the cheaper side and it is a soft backpack but there's no wetness anywhere and there is a yeti ice pack on the bottom but this is awesome what do you think you want some yeah okay thank you Kendra, Chloe. May I you? hi um i just need a large strawberry passion tea lemonade okay anything else for you and that's all Okay. So this is Chick fil A's new seasonal summer drink. It is their strawberry passion lemonade. And this is their large. I wish the only negative is I wish it was a little bit bigger, but there we go. All right, moment of truth. Oh, it's good. It's not too sweet. That lemonade really helps. Mm. I just need this is a large. It seems like a little tiny small to me. Okay, so I'm doing an ice update. Oh, I didn't see that all the way. Let's see. Oh, it's not wet. That's awesome. So it has been, it's like one o'clock right now. I put it in at like 8 30. very impressed that the target backpack is not wet on the bottom because my husband was like, it's gonna be wet and it's not at all okay it's three o'clock now and these have been outside in the sun okay 
that moment of truth. It's still not wet. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up, that's amazing. So there's just like a little damp spot in the very bottom. It's just a little bit wet, but actually not too bad. So this has been seven hours in both coolers and it's just like slightly damp on the bottom so I, I don't think that's bad at all honestly I'm actually super impressed and surprised that it lasted that long and I actually had the lid or the lid the top of this open for about two hours of that when it was in the sunshine and it's not I mean I can rest it right here and it's not getting me soaked it's just like slightly damp so that's awesome so I think that's super awesome yeah the back this isn't wet. It's just kind of like right here on the very bottom. It's just a little damp. I'll take it. I'll call it a winner. Okay, so final back. So there's just a little bit of water leaking out. And that's it. What did I say? Seven hours? Seven or eight hours? I think seven hours. And just a little bit's leaking out and that's it. I totally approve. Ooh, it's windy. So overall, I really like both of those coolers. Obviously, I'm sure the Ozark Trail one would be better because it's not gonna leak. I mean, I wouldn't say not leak at all, but there's a better chance that it won't leak and actually neither of those did. So my final review is I love both of them. Obviously, I love, I'm biased, like for the pineapple cooler one. Um, this is not sponsored at all. This is my just straight review of it. I did, I put those two ice bags in at 8.30 this morning and then it's 3.30 right now. Oh my, it, uh, my daughter just dumped her container of, her container of bubbles into their little kitty pool. <laughs> Oops. Um, but overall, I really liked that pineapple cooler too. And it took, it was like hour six or seven that it was just leaking just a little bit. So even if you're using it like as a backpack and you have to carry it around all day, that was with actual ice cubes, not just an, a Yeti ice pack. So I had a Yeti ice pack on the very bottom of it and then a bag, an eight pound bag of ice from McDonald's. And honestly, two hours of that, the top wasn't even zipped all the way. So, and it was in the sun. So overall, loved it. And by the time I post this, I hope that Target has them back in stock. Um, in Knoxville, it said that they were in stock at the Farragut location, but I actually had to drive to the which one? the one off of Clinton Highway. Yeah, not Chapman Highway, Clinton Highway. So I had to go to the, I got the very last one at the Target in Knoxville off Clinton Highway. So just call the Target before because I'm pretty sure it still says online that all of them, that all of them are sold out and they're not shipping them yet. But the girl was telling me that they get shipments in on Tuesdays or her, their store did specifically. So just double check and find out. And maybe one day I'll actually be sponsored by Target and they'll give me a discount code and an email notification when they come back in stock. But for now, I'm just using Google.